Hi everyone welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you love to watch more cheating stories. How can I start to move forward? Hello all. I've never posted here but I've read for a bit and I've found it comforting to be amongst people who get it. I'm new to Reddit, literally joined for this purpose, so please forgive me if I'm not using the right lingo or if this is crazy long. At the beginning of December I, F28 found out my partner M29 of 5 years had begun a non-physical relationship with a girl he works with. We live together across the country from all of our family and friends and I've been suffering alone during this time due to not having a chance to make many connections where I currently am. It's been a really rough few months, I've lost 20 pounds, my health is poor, my other personal relationships are suffering and this has even affected my ability to perform in the workplace which unfortunately led to me being let go from my dream job. All of this has been awful but is nothing in comparison to the way the betrayal has affected me. Before we started our relationship I was abused for three years by a previous BF. My current partner helped me get out and has always been a big supporter of my healing. Which is why this has totally rocked my perception of our relationship. Outside of this situation, he's always been an ideal partner. He's attentive, kind, and supportive. He doesn't even like other girls' pictures on Instagram. And I have always been laid back, the comfort he provided for me in our relationship never led me to have anxiety about trusting him. I've never snooped, I don't hold him back from doing things. I believe we need to have our separate lives from each other. Long story long, we've been working on things and have had a lot of really good discussions. I'm extremely empathetic and am pretty good at separating the action from the person. There were other things going on with him that led him down that path. Not an excuse but I'm empathetic enough to understand. The issue moving forward is me. I understandably have trouble with trusting him, especially because they work together still, even though he's managed to separate himself from her as much as possible, it's killing me. I find myself constantly stalking her, like, the way in which I was able to find every account she's ever made is scary and the FBI should hire me ha. Huh? But it's become almost a compulsion. I want to stop myself but I'm desperately seeking control. I've seen her name in his phone a few times and he's always wanted to show me the very short few messages about work things, in an attempt to make me feel comfortable. He's honestly been kind in giving me exactly what I need during this time. But I just can't seem to shake the feeling that the other shoe is going to drop at any second. I find myself working up into a manic I caught him style feeling just to be met with irrational reasoning behind whatever irrational intrusive thoughts led me to believe something is still going on. Anyone having this issue? I want to allow myself time to process but I really need help figuring out how to get to the first step? It's pretty clear that things have ended between them so why can't I stop expecting to catch him in a lie 24-7? Any help is help. Please I just want to go back to who I was before this. Here are some of the best comments from our community. Interesting story, I'll just say this, you need to stop stalking the girl, thoughts are like seed, don't water this. Trust is like a bottle, once it's shattered it's always hard to put back the pieces. I'm sorry to say this, as long as they still work together, it would happen again. Your partner may have changed genuinely but seeing her, working together, that is where the problem is. The first and foremost rule to successful reconciliation is the app must be out of your lives for good. You can't even begin to heal while he still has to work with her. He should be job searching yesterday and consider quitting now just to give you a better chance to heal. You are in delayed healing mode until she's gone. Op, as long as they're working together, your relationship doesn't have a chance. He needs to decide which is more important, working there or you. The first and foremost rule to successful reconciliation is the app must be out of your lives for good. You can't even begin to heal while he still has to work with her. He should be job searching yesterday and consider quitting now just to give you a better chance to heal. You are in delayed healing mode until she's gone. I will attest to he has to leave that job. Hands down. You will never heal with the thought of him seeing her every day is in your head. Even if he isn't talking to her, it's bound to happen at some point. That app has got to go. 100% no contact. Trust me just him mentioning his job will make you want to puke. Every single thing that was present while the affair was in full swing will be a daily reminder of what he has put you through. Get rid of all of it. Another cheating story. Does trust ever fully come back? Two years ago I found out my husband cheated while deployed two years prior. He hid it from me for two years. I used to joke he loved me too much to cheat. To my knowledge this was his only slip up. 
We had recently gotten married and our daughter was literally two months old. I took a look at the whole picture of our newest baby, our very blended family otherwise, and the fact we had been together for five years already. I decided to stay. I can almost understand it. He was lonely and I didn't show as much affection as he needed. My way of dealing with him gone was to focus on the kids and try to almost pretend it wasn't happening, because I missed him so much. This led him to believe I was messing around behind his back like his ex-wife had done on his first deployment. Looking back I realize I could have done things different and maybe things wouldn't have happened. That being said, I know it's not my fault and it doesn't excuse things. For the most part one tried to move past things but sometimes triggers happen and I just get all up in my head. Mentions of the military, specifically female friends from the military completely unrelated to the affair. And like I know shit happens and he's most likely going to watch porn, I just don't want to see it or know about it. I don't want to hear about an ex from when he was 15 anymore. Or a celebrity he thinks is attractive. Any female he thinks is attractive. And I'm not even saying these are specific things that are going on. Any thought of another female just rubs me the wrong way and makes me feel so icky. I don't go through his phone because the last time I snooped, two years ago, I found things I didn't want to. He knows he fucked up and when things come up he apologizes all over again and says it's something he feels guilty about every day, something he has to live with. I don't really know where I'm going with this. I'm just all up in my head again. I've been off for a few days now, because he mentioned how he ran into a female friend from his old unit, Hess out now. It just all comes back and hits me hard, even when it's something that's small. I just want to stop feeling shitty. Most of the time we're happy. And I know in the back of my head he's not doing anything. He works his ass off for us, he comes home, he rarely goes out. But then my head goes off into this crazy scenario because I didn't think he was doing anything the last time either. And look where that got me. I've never been with a man that's been 100% faithful to me and that makes me feel so crappy in itself. Here are some of the best comments from our community. He cheated. Wasn't your fault. Definitely not your fault he judged you to his ex's standards. This doesn't give him the right to think you are the same so he can f slash around behind your back. Don't take the blame for any of it. Blended families are hard to navigate but you must do what's right for you. Please don't put the children first, if you will be miserable. His focus on women who aren't you, including porn, suggests his claim that his ex cheated on him may not be true. It could serve him well though in convincing you to accept his insecurities about you, a way to have you sympathize with the breakdown of his previous marriage, etc. This may not be the time you want to think about it but later on, infidelity may become a deal breaker. The trust will never come back. You have to deal with it or leave the relationship. Some PPL are not able to be faithful in a monogamous relationship. They just can't because of their biological makeup. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and, and hit the notification bell.